Hey, hey, good morning, Pre-K-3. How are my friends doing today? This is Mr. McAuliffe coming to you from the library here at St. Margaret's to read to you uh, another story this week. I've enjoyed reading to you so much and the feedback that I get from your moms and dads. Um, I know that this is something that you look forward to so I'm going to keep doing it. <clears throat> the book that I am going to read to you today is called Elmer. It's about an elephant and as you can see a pretty colorful elephant. The author of this book is David McKee. There once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old. Elephants tall and elephants short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy and almost all were the same color. What color are elephants? All except for Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow, and orange, and red, and pink, and purple, and blue, and green, and black, and white. <clears throat> it was Elmer who, Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant wasn't, was laughing, cause was usually Elmer. We probably all know someone like Elmer, don't we? But Elmer himself was not very happy. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he said. No, one, no wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer snuck away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for. A large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries all fell on the ground. Do you think he might be doing with the berries? Then, Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries. He rolled this way and that way. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow, or orange, or red, or pink, or purple, or blue, or green, or black, or white. Elmer looked just like every other elephant. <clears throat> On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals again. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the her <laughs> herd, <coughs> none of the other elephants even noticed him. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong, but what he couldn't remember. He looked around, same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephant herd. The other elephants were standing absolutely still. Silent and serious. Elmer had 
never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted. Boom! The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh as well. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share in the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. And then the rain cloud burst open. And when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to his normal color. You've played some good jokes on us. But this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you, Elmer? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke ever. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third. And Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow, or orange, or red, or pink, or purple, or blue, or green, or black, or white. And they have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, you'll know that one must be Elmer. The end. I hope you like this week's story about Elmer the Elephant <clears throat> in the patchwork color. Boys and girls, <clears throat> I miss you here at school. I miss your little faces and your laughter and your learning. I hope that you're all doing well and that you're listening to your moms and dads at home and that you're doing the schoolwork that Mrs. Krause sends home to you. I look forward to the time when we're all back here at St. Margaret's together. And until then, please remember to be safe, be healthy, and be strong. Bye-bye, Pre-K-3.